Hello, I'm Auxiliary Officer Bert Morgan, and I'd like to welcome you to this program. The video you are about to see, Don't Become a Dot on Our Map, is intended viewing for youthful drivers, 15 to 20 years of age, and their parents or guardians. Some of you are first and second year drivers, still under DMV restrictions, but most of you are no longer under those restrictions. However, obey traffic laws, drive safely, and respect others on the road. The video is intended to be a reminder of those responsibilities. It includes the measures being taken by the Fairfax County Police Department to keep our roadway safe. The video reviews the history of vehicle crashes caused by at-fault drivers 15 to 20 years of age. The final segment consists of a message from the Honorable Judge Mark Simmons of Fairfax County Court. The Fairfax County Police Department is committed to ensuring the safety of all motorists, pedestrians and bicyclists by aggressively enforcing the traffic laws established by both the Commonwealth and Fairfax County. This includes patrolling the county roadways, utilizing sobriety checkpoints. In addition, police department takes enforcement of impaired driving, ensuring drivers are not under the influence of alcohol or drugs, legal or illegal. If your driving is in violation of traffic laws, you will be stopped. Depending on the severity of the violation, you could be issued a warning, traffic citation, or even arrested. Before approaching the vehicle, a check of the legal status of the driver is made. After obtaining the driver's license, the officer will check the driver's legal status. During the initial encounter with the driver, the officer senses a smell of alcohol or observes an indication of erratic behavior. These indications are basis for a field test of sobriety or drug use. If only a speeding violation, then the driver may be issued a citation and required to appear in court or a warning may be issued. Recorded speed of 100 miles or greater is basis for immediate arrest. Vehicle speed is measured by either radar or LIDAR devices. Depending on the speed over the legal limit, the driver may be issued a citation and be required to appear in traffic court. And in some cases, a warning may be issued. In some cases, the result of excessive speed over the limit can result in arrest and a loss of license. Sir, any, any reason to go on that fast this morning? Yep. All right, Mr. Smith, this uh -huh. is the test I told you about. What you need to do is take a deep breath and blow a long, steady breath until I tell you to stop, okay? okay? Take a deep breath. I'll hold it. Okay. Keep your hands on any side. Take okay. a deep breath and blow. All right. Thank you. All right, sir, you see that? What's it say? 0 0.09. 0 0.09, yes, sir. Oh, man. Based on that and the test, I'm going to place you under arrest oh, for driving while intoxicated. Sorry, man. I'm sorry, bro. It shall be unlawful for any person under the age of 21 to operate any motor vehicle after illegally consuming alcohol. Any such person with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.02% or more by weight, by volume, is in violation of the law. Punishment shall include, one, forfeiture of such person's license to operate a motor vehicle for a period of one year from the date of conviction 
and two, mandatory minimum fine of $500 or performance of a mandatory minimum of 50 hours of community service. If during the interaction with the stalked motorist, the officer feels they may be under the influence of an illegal drug, a canine may be summoned. If the canine alerts to the odor of narcotics in the vehicle, it will be searched by the officers. In addition to the potential DUI arrest, the driver could face charges relating to any illegal drugs located. In 2017, there were 922 crashes in Fairfax County roadways caused by at-fault drivers 15 to 20 years old. Crashes occurring on the county interstate highways are handled by the Virginia State Police and not included in this crash map. The map includes the total youth involved crash locations. Crashes resulting from driver distraction are highlighted. The map lists the top four most dangerous roadways for youthful drivers. They are Arlington Boulevard and Graham Road, Braddock Road and Ravenwood Road, Old Keene Mill Road and Backlick Road and Centerville Road and Compton Road. The locations of the three highlighted fatalities are Americana Drive, Arlington Boulevard and South Street, and Clifton Road. Support and involvement of parents and guardians in the licensing process was an important factor in your teen's success in receiving their licenses. It is equally important to stay involved with your young driver over the next several years. The chart shows an increase in number of crashes involving at-fault teen drivers with the increase in age of the driver. The reduction in incidents involving 19 to 20 years old is good news, however, still a much too high number. Your involvement as a parental with the teen driver can be a valuable factor in reducing these numbers and helping him or her mature into an experienced and responsible driver. Distracted driving includes driving while eating, texting, talking on the phone, and adjusting the radio. Using the cell phone is at the top of the list. Teenage passengers also pose a major distraction to new drivers. The AAA Foundation for a Traffic Safety Study found 15% of all teen crashes happened due to the teen driver interacting with one or more teen passengers. Combined with the relative inexperience of new drivers, distracted driving increases the risk of teen crashes. The following is a reenactment of a distracted driver occurrence resulting from the thoughtless actions of passengers and driver. It is intended to illustrate the potential deadly consequences of such actions. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Guys, be quiet in the back. <laughs> Bro, they actually be like the yeah, Bro, it's so sincere. I got it. Look at it. You know what I'm doing. Guys, be quiet. Yo, look. Yo, look, look. Hey, would you guys be quiet? <laughs> guys, you need to stop. Be quiet. <laughs> the previous scene depicted a distracted driver scenario resulting in a serious accident. Driver distraction is one of the most common causes resulting in vehicle crashes. As a new driver, your responsibility to yourself and your passenger is to avoid distractions and careless activity. Drive safely. Don't forget, driving is not a right. It is a privilege. Hello, I'm Judge Simmons of the Fairfax General District Court. Court is a lot of things. It's lawyers, it's clerks, 
its witnesses, its statutes, its law books, but I'm not going to talk about that. The bottom line for you is that court is where people face consequences for their actions. And for traffic matters, split-second decisions that everybody makes countless of times a day have consequences. They're legal, they're financial, they're personal, and sometimes they're permanent. Take, for example, approaching an intersection and the light turns yellow. Do you slow down and stop, or do you accelerate through the light? What are the consequences? Maybe nothing. Maybe you get where you're going a little bit quicker. Or maybe a police officer sees you and tickets you. Consequence? A ticket? A trip to court? Hire a lawyer? Maybe. That's a lot of money. Have a trial? Plead guilty? Is there fines? Points on your license? Do your insurance rates go up? Well, wait. That split-second decision could hold even more consequences than you think. What if you didn't see that other car coming out of the intersection and you crash into him? Or what about a pedestrian? What if you hit him? Now you've got real problems. Property damage that has to be paid for, injuries, maybe to even yourself, to somebody else in the car, to other people in other cars, maybe even a death to somebody. Many fatal accidents involve a passenger in someone's own vehicle. Court, now the circumstances involve possible arrest, definitely needing a lawyer. And now you're going to have license suspensions and possible jail or even prison time. And how about the personal injury portion of court in a civil suit? Thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the human portion. It's hard to live knowing that you've caused such damage or maybe even something more permanent to someone else's life. But as everyone says in court, I didn't intend to hit the other guy. No one, but no one intends to be in an accident. They never do. But months and years later, it's court where the consequences lie for your split second decision on the road. So please be conscious of that and please understand that. Thank you. Remember, a motor vehicle can give you the mobility to go to places you want to go, home, friends, and the mall. The proper use of a motor vehicle can take you to places you don't want to go to, traffic court, jail, hospitals, and cemeteries. Drive responsibly. Get where you want to go. And the final note, Pay attention to the road. Enjoy the new freedom of opportunities your driver's license provides. But also realize the great responsibilities that come with it.